Look at the screen in front of you. That's Django. He died recently. A heel of bullets in his 2023 200 AMG Benz. This guy is arguably was one of the most dangerous men that came out of Trinidad. He was responsible for murders and kidnappings. And I'm gonna tell you guys about some of them. Now, I must be honest, there is so much stuff on this guy. I am going to have to break it up bit by bit. Good day, my wonderful friends. It's me again, the great. Great. One more great. And one more great. I'm going to do one more great countryman. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And click on another video. Now, I want to say to everybody, Happy New Year. And I hope you live to see many, many more. And my mother used to say, And I hope your bread basket will never be empty. With that said, let's go. Well, now we know that Wendell Walker was linking with West Bank Records and him and West Bank Records fell out. How we know that? We know that because Django owed West Bank money and didn't pay them. Now, we also know that Django was dealing with Prezi. How do we know that? Because when he fell out with West Bank, he started linking Prezi. And I think that was his demise. Because that made six, six down them honing on Django. He let his guard down. But listen, this dude Django was a real hitman and a contract killer. You understand? And this guy here did a lot of kidnappings. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys two of the things he did. And then, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come with a part two uh, and maybe a part three because there's so much thing that this guy was involved in. So, here we go. Look at the picture in front of you. Now, this man right here, his name is Johan Chin. And he is a Jamaican. Let me repeat that again. This man's name is Johan Chin. And he is a Jamaican. Now, how is Johan Chin related to Django? One of the wickedest gangsters in a, the Caribbean and uh, in a tr Trinidad. I am going to explain that, but before I explain that, look at the news. Trinidad News version. It said the police in Trinidad are continuing the investigation following the release of a Jamaican businessman who was kidnapped in April in Trinidad. The report that the relative of Yo and Chin paid an undisclosed sum of money to the kidnappers who released him earlier this week. His release came one month after the relative placed an advertisement 
via local security uh, base firm in which they were reaching out to his abductors to please call them and negotiate for a safe return. Let me show you that picture. That's the picture that Yo and Chin family put out. But now I am going to give you guys the official story what happened. Now Yo and Chin, he was living in Trinidad. He was making a lot of money and he was a businessman yes but his main thing for business was buying coke and sending it back to England. He lived in a two million dollar mansion. He drive a, a Porsche sports car I think it's the career I'm not too sure but it was a big expensive car lots of hot girls and running the coke thing to England he didn't know uh, Django from a can of paint now the people um, that he was dealing with in Trinidad and England and I think it was a young lady down there in Trinidad they set up this Jamaican guy. You understand? So the setup is between England and Trinidad because the people them in England say, yo, you have a Jamaican in Trinidad mashing up the place. And they got to the girl and he was sleeping with a young lady that night and when he was sleeping with her, guess who came and picked him up? It was Django. Wendell Walker. Django, aka Jamal. And kidnapped this man for over a month. This man had to sell the house in Trinidad and sell his sports car to pay them to let him go and I guess his family had some money towards that too and pay them to let him go and he got the fuck up out at Trinidad that's what happened to this Jamaican man and Django was the man who did that Django was a real killer a real contract killer a real kidnappist if there is such a word extortion drugs now there was also I want you guys to notice something about this guy you understand you see the thing that made him do a straight big money you know a straight millions you know now me I show you now another crime that he was alleged to do I like me say my intel is facts now look at this picture right here you all remember this case and this was in 2019 okay Sheldon Sukdeo you remember Sharon, the big millionaire, billionaire, him and his wife, seems like his wife, family, them killing. Now, this is Sharon, brother, and somebody had kidnapped him out of his BMW X5. You understand? And this was after Sharon died, his big brother. And they wanted a two million dollar ransom let me show you something now let's read this with me it says identifying mark the tattoo with the name of Sheldon seen encircled I you see the circle on his arm and the right forearm of the kidnapped victim Sheldon Sugdale 
was used by police yesterday to identify the body which they found in the forest in Las Lomas, number two, as that of the father of two who was kidnapped five weeks ago. Now I'm going to show you guys something else. You see what that say? Five weeks after being kidnapped at gunpoint by gunmen or by men dressed in police clothing and a two million dollar ransom was later demanded and paid because the ransom was, was paid I know that for a fact he was found dead now the reason why I'm showing you this I want you guys see the MO a two million dollar ransom was made for this young man and the young man was still found dead now it's alleged out there from my intel which is a hundred percent the guy here that I'm speaking about Django he is the one responsible for that and that has a tie-in to do with Sudeo but I'm gonna talk about all that in another video for this video right here I wanted to show some of the high profile killing and kidnapping that this man Django was doing in Trinidad when I tell you he's a real bad man this guy right here is a real bad man like I say this is the part one but there will be a part two coming because there is lots more to talk about this guy and I'm gonna talk about the Sukdeo family because even this guy is mixed up in it you know believe it or not listen my name is Countryman remember to like share subscribe and click on another video and leave your comments and let me know if you like this I'm out.